Yeah, it's a great time to be alive right now. Great time to be alive. Yeah. I've been obsessed with mermaids, so I'm glad there's finally a show. What can you tell us about this show? Um, it's showing mermaids like you haven't seen before. Um, they are very badass. Um, and they come from a bit more of a realistic point of view, so they have to survive in the ocean. So they're predators, um, and they come on land for the first, well, my character comes on land for the first time, and the adventure begins. This show takes a little bit of a darker twist though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's not your Splash or your Little Mermaid, which are both amazing, obviously, in their own right, but what's cool about it is it's a dark twist on the mermaid legend. Uh, and it kind of infuses uh, some of the siren mythology. And I think there's a mermaid myth and folklore from all around the world that our writers have kind of tried to infuse into this, this uh, piece of drama that we've got, which is really cool. Yeah, um, yeah and I think, yeah, it's, it's time. It's time for mermaids to have their moment, you know? Mermaids are having their moment. Um, and then with Freeform, Freeform likes to explore topics that a lot of other networks don't, they don't explore. Uh, what kind of topics will Siren explore specifically that maybe we haven't seen before? Uh, Siren's a really interesting one, I think, because uh, for my character, I play a marine biologist, so he's an environmentalist, and um, the reason why the mermaids are coming close to shore and the reason why I encounter one is because of the way that we're treating our oceans. So there's going to be some uh, some environmental like undertones to it, but then also this idea of acceptance and this idea of fearing people that are different to you. These mermaid creatures that were kind of banished uh, that, like a few hundred years ago and uh, now they're coming back. And my character learns through his kind of through his uh, family history, uh, what humans have been responsible for in the past. And I think it's not too dissimilar to, um, to uh, I, don't, I probably shouldn't name any specific uh, problems, but yeah, it's definitely about acceptance. It's definitely about uh, fear and overcoming those things. You think about this current generation, because I've been talking about this, Freeform really explores a lot of topics that a lot of shows and a lot of networks tend to avoid. This generation in particular, do you think they have a greater responsibility as far as like what they do with their platform to influence change? Well, I think we just, um, our world has just become bigger because of social media and also TV. Is just, there's just so much more choice and it really shapes our, our world. Yeah. So I think we're just seeing the inevitable responsibility attached to that. And we're seeing how much power we have now with sharing these things. So absolutely, I, I do think we, we have this strength, so why not use it for the greater good? But I feel like this generation in particular is very passionate about those type of topics too. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's amazing to be part of this generation because I feel like we are all thinking outside the box and we're all trying to, like a lot of us anyway, are trying to make some kind of change, even if it's just in our own hearts. Um, and I think it's, it's, yeah, it's a great time to be alive right now. But before you go, click left to hear the Cloak and Dagger cast spill details on the show and click right to hear the Foster's cast talk spoilers and spinoff details.